we've got breaking news just into Fox weather. We talked about whether Lee would shoot that gap into the mouth of the Bay of Fundy. Well, it made a landfall on Long Island, not the one in New York, the one in extreme western parts of Nova Scotia. It's a barrier island, so that is the first landfall and what has been this long life cycle of Lee. Welcome back everyone to Weather Command. Lee left its mark from Canada through New England. It landed there in Nova Scotia on Saturday afternoon post-tropical storm and it had reinvented itself over and over again. I mean, Lee had an incredible two-week lifespan. It spent seven days total as a major hurricane. And it also underwent the third fastest rapid intensification in hurricane record keeping. There was just that gigantic wind zone um, throughout the storm that grew and expanded. And that was a result of this, the rapid intensification September 7th, um, 80 mile an hour winds turned to category five, 165 mile an hour winds. That was a 24 hour transition. Look at these live, well not live now, but during the storm, this is what it looked like. From Southport to Bar Harbor to Yarmouth to Cape Cod. Um, Saturday was quite a, a situation for the coastal areas as the waves kicked up. Tragically, we did lose a man in Maine because of a tree felling fall onto car in Sears Port. And also we had a swimmer, a 15 year old swimmer off of Florida Beach because of the surf that Lee created it lost his life. So at least two deaths we know of right now because of this storm, which stayed well offshore until getting up into Nova Scotia. Now we've got the lingering outages, but a lot of these are actually related to the new rain that's coming in with a front that has basically taken over Monday morning. It'll stay with us right through tomorrow night for some portions of New England. So we get into this. Lee is barely a memory and we've got more rain to contend with on the eastern seaboard. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.